Hey everyone, what's up? Uh, today I want to show you something because I spent literally half an hour trying to set up something very very easy and I couldn't make it because I couldn't find any good tutorial online. Maybe I'm dumb myself, maybe uh, I don't know what I'm doing, but well I found out to do it. I found out how to do it and I and I want to share it with you. So uh, we're going to authenticate uh, uh, inside our uh, server, Linux server, using um, not only password authentication but also public key authentication. So what you're going to need is to uh, well download the client if you don't have it already. I guess you do. So that's paddy.exe uh, desktop tutorial. We got it there and save it as putty there we go and then next you're going to need putty generator and save it there and putty agent as well so now that you have all of them just go here you open up your putty and it should come up empty you shouldn't have all those here down I have those because I already have some servers set up in another um, configuration. Anyway, uh, for this example I'm gonna use my uh, server here and we're going to log in as root. Um, actually there's a little issue here, I'm running it on port 6262, you, you shouldn't need to change this should stay 22 for you if you didn't change it on purpose so we're going to open the session it's maybe going to ask you to accept uh, the key or whatever if it's the first time you're connecting but I don't think that is the case anyway we log in and now that we're in we need to create uh, the password uh, we're going to place it in a a directory called SSH. Um, you can maybe find something else in here. Uh, you can safely delete pretty much anything aside uh, from known hosts, but you know we don't care about that now. So you open up Putty Generator first, and you want to generate a key. You're gonna you're going to have to move your mouse a little bit to just randomize a little bit everything. Then you need a key passphrase. Um, just put something that is secure. You don't. You, you won't have to put it every time. Uh, so just put something secure. I'm gonna use uh, for this example test uh, one two three. That is not secure, so don't do that. Test dot one two three. Um, we save the private key. Again under tutorial. Ah, just have it like that and now watch out you need to make sure you're on top of it you select everything in here but the uh, ending part so you don't select this uh, RSA key and whatever the data is so you go up uh, down to the equals that's it you copy it control C and then you go back to your window here and you type uh, PCOR NAN or whatever your favorite editor is and and then it's going to be um, what is it again? Authorized Authorized Keys and you will have to paste right click in my case Now, uh, Control X Y Enter to save. Uh, now that it's saved, you just have to open up Putty Agent, uh, and it's already running, of course. So we just open it up, and I'm going to add a key. Tutorial. Private key. You select it, and then you put the password in. Test one two three. 
and you'll see that the password has been added to the list if you have some other keys you'll see them here now that you have the keys um, saved up you can go back to your um, server you can close the connection because you're not going to need it anymore and you open it up again and root 85.1144030 and port 6262 and it's gonna be under SSH on the left authentication and you'll have to browse oh never mind actually don't 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 follow these steps uh, so you just fill it in root uh, your IP the port you can save the session if you haven't already and then you click on open and magically it will authenticate automatically automatically with the put the agent so yeah that's pretty much how you do it I hope it was uh, clear enough uh, one more thing that you should take care of is to go into S, uh, SSH again and check out that the permissions are set right. Uh, so right now they're not good because every user can theoretically read it. Uh, it is not true because they cannot access root folder. Anyway, to be safe, we just cmod it to 600, which is uh, uh, read and write uh, for root only. Uh, authorized keys and as you can see now it is only a read and write so yes that's how you uh, authenticate with public uh, key authentication in Linux and Putty under Windows uh, thank you for watching and have a nice day